folks, Phoebe here. Welcome to the first stage showcase for FanPro Faniversary Fighters. Starting off with a very familiar location, we'll be overviewing Miss Maribel's home stage, Bucket Beach. This will also allow me to discuss the general qualities of stages in this game going forwards. Please keep in mind this demo is in a work in progress state, and many things you see here will change. In FanPro Faniversary Fighters, Bucket Beach returns as a relatively faithful port of the original stage from Rivals Workshop. It's practically just been scaled down. The gimmick of the stage was how the platform with Maribel's shark friend would move back and forth across the stage, like in an LCD game. By standing on her floaty and inputting an attack, you can move the platform around by yourself. This can allow for a lot of wild custom combos. Of course, this is a pretty intrusive gimmick when it comes to standard competitive play, so in Rivals, there was a hazardless version too, which also returns. With hazards off, the platform will only move on its own while no player is standing on it. Now, there's essentially two stages in one. But what if there was more? What's this? The platform won't move unless it's attacked on? To better understand what's going on, I'd like to take you to the first look at the stage select screen. Here it is. The layout is a bit inspired by the original Super Smash Bros. But as you might see below the stage title, there's some new buttons as well. These might be familiar in concept to those who have played Smash Remix. The yellow button in the middle represents stage hazards. When turned off, unconventional stage gimmicks, obstacles, and general interactive features are disabled from the stage, allowing for a more typically competitive setting. The blue button to the right represents stage movement. With this turned off, moving platforms no longer move on their own, allowing for a completely static stage layout. In the case of Bucket Beach, this will freeze the platform in place, but still allow players to move the platform themselves. These options can be mixed as well for a completely still stage, as demonstrated by this version of Bucket Beach with a totally immovable platform. As you can see, this allows for one stage to become up to four unique stages. The exact mechanics of these options will vary on a stage-by-stage -stage basis, especially when I'm going to be doing my best to have as many stage options as possible, but they should follow these general rules. For one last note, there's one more orange button here, to the left. When you select it, you can instantly tell the stage's form has changed. This form is called the Stadium Form, and is a medium-width stage with two symmetrical platforms and absolutely no slopes. It's completely balanced, similar to Battlefield form stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Every stage in the game will have a Stadium Form, so even stages with less competitive layouts will still have the option of being played competitively. Although it's not relevant for Bucket Beach, the hazards and movement toggles may have additional purposes on these forms for some stages as well. So when it comes down to it, I basically revealed five stages today. <laughs> well, maybe not quite, but I still hope this goes to show the amount of customization you'll have. I have to admit, I got a bit more carried away with this one than I thought I would, but with the foundations of the stage features complete, I should be able to show more stage content very soon. So until the next showcase, I wish that you have fun. Oh, and as an aside, a very important announcement was made by Yo-Yo Games, the studio behind Game Maker Studio 2, which I'm using to create FanPro Faniversary Fighters. For non-commercial games, they can finally be exported for free. I'd like to take the time now to specify that my game is an entirely free hobbyist project. So after the first version is released, this means you all can expect updates at a much more frequent pace than I expected to be able to achieve. Thanks to the generosity of Yo-Yo Games, I hope you all can look forward to this in the near future. Goodbye!